quick lunch. Having a quick lunch, I'm gonna go in the water. So fish are good swimmers, so this makes a lot of sense. Kid just having a meltdown behind me. The parent is doing a great job holding their ground and everything, but the kid's just having a meltdown. Yeah, and some of you asked me why I didn't have kids. Yeah, not a surprise, huh? Train the muscles, not the joints. So welcome back to your Natural Land Bodybuilding, and today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the whatever works principle. And I think if more people actually embrace this principle, there'd be a lot more people walking around with some results, you know, some bodybuilding gains, you know, Galantian mountains or whatever. I mean, because the thing is, is that there's so many people that are obsessed about finding the right way. They don't take the time to discover what is the right way for themselves. So you have to start with a template. I always talk about that. Yeah, learn from your favorite people, people you like, their physiques, whatever, people that are medical professionals, all this kind of stuff. And, and, and don't be afraid to experiment. And sometimes it does take a period of time to learn, you know, that's, that's the whole thing in gaining wisdom. It's not an overnight process. It's not like you do something for two or three weeks, and then all of a sudden, boom, you got like the massive gains. Although you will find that sometimes when you make these minor discoveries in your training, all of a sudden you incorporate a new training technique and within three weeks, you're getting actually some gains as a natural bodybuilder. You notice that, oh wow, there's like a quarter inch difference in, in a certain body part and stuff. And so you will have these quantum leaps and quantum shifts in your training from time to time. So yeah, don't be afraid to experiment, but at the same time, understand that whatever works is the right thing. It isn't about doing it according to what somebody said on, you know, YouTube or something. I didn't know the Tricepatoris was here in town. The Tricepatoris Rex. Hey, Jen, hey. Mountain, 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 mountain. <laughs> mountain Really what this whole game is about is about expanding your own awareness, your own sensory perception. And you'll start to notice a commonality between how you feel and, and the sensations that you experience and the results that you get. So over time, you're gonna recognize these patterns. And that's what happened with me. I would try lots of different things. Like you'll say, oh, you gotta squat this way. You gotta deadlift this way. You gotta bend over row this way. You gotta bicep curl this way. And I do certain techniques for periods of time. And then I would plateau with my results or whatever. And then I'd try something new and then there would be certain techniques that I try for a period of time and all of a sudden I get this quantum shift in results. Out of nowhere, all of a sudden, bang! And then I remember what feeling did I experience? How did I experience the muscle? What did the actual set or the repetition feel like in order for me to get those results? And once I started to chase that, then I started to really be able to recognize instantaneously whether an exercise was right or not for me. So a lot of you guys are doing guesswork. A lot of you guys are just trying to figure it out just through guessing. But what I'm saying is you start to associate a certain sensation along with results. And then from there, you can get a greater result and you could also make decisions at a faster rate of what is right for you or not. So this is really underestimated. Yeah, another kid having a meltdown. It was a children's festival today in Harrison and uh, yeah, they're not happy to be leaving. They're, they're just not ha happy about that. They're not happy at all. Yeah, kids, eh? Honesty, that's what I like about them. The thing is, these sensations become the Rosetta Stone to your training. They become the Rosetta Stone because once you learn to tap into that grid of sensation equals results, like certain sensations in an exercise, and then some sensations lead to pain or injury, you start to get a real good uh, compass in how to make the proper decisions in whatever exercise you're doing in any one moment. Now, if you watch pros train, you see some really highly developed guys, whether they're in the unnatural field or the natural, it doesn't really matter. And you'll notice that there'll be certain exercises that they avoid and certain ones that they do, or if they do do them, they do them with different angles and stuff because they know they're so in touch with their body. They're so in touch with what feeling is the right feeling and what feeling is the wrong feeling that they are able to avoid injury in a much better way than say somebody that's just blindly following a template. This is one of my favorite places. It's only about a six or seven minute walk from my house. And then I can get right into this little lagoon here. And it, the water's a little bit warmer than, say, out in the middle of the lake, but it's... You know, every, every cowboy needs a baptism. 100% warmer than what it was over there earlier. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Brett the Hi there. Yeah, we gotta work on those vocals, right? Oh God, yeah. Gotta, gotta work on getting those vocals a little higher. Okay. <laughs> so I thought cowboys are supposed to be tough. I, I mean, I jumped in, but yeah. But then again, I, I didn't wait till the sun went down. <laughs> 
it's a nice little place you can just run in shallow and uh, yeah, swim into water, man. Catch some fish in my mouth because I'm fish man now. I'm Aquaman, I had some fish and now I should be able to swim just like the fishes do. Which one of you is going in first? <laughs> Why the laughter? Come on, I see you looking at that like you want to go in. Looking pretty good, it is, isn't it? I got to get somebody on film, so I don't know which one is first, but uh, you know, local local people here in here are a little bit cowardly, so I got to jump in here. And yeah, it's a little cold, but hey, I'm a Galantian. That's what I do. One more time, let's go on one more time. Felt good. Yeah, nice little swim. Met some people. <laughs> Convinced a couple people. It's always rewarding to convince a few people to jump in, especially after I jump in that cold water. There was a guy from Vancouver actually that uh, I said, "Hey, you got to jump in." He's like, oh, "Oh, I don't know, not today." And I'm like, "Come on!" And he actually did it. So <laughs> let's see, if we got somebody else in this town that's not a coward to jump in the water. Thank God. Thank God it's not just me here. Here we go. All right, give her hell. That's good. We got proof. <laughs> good job. For good. Croatia. It was good to see. That was kind of funny. So yeah, there's some pretty, pretty hilarious people sometimes. I guess uh, what it boils down to is I like people. I like, I like having fun with people. As adults, sometimes people stop having fun. I think when you're an adult, that's where the fun just begins. Let's get back to the point of the video. Sometimes people also say, well, how do I know it works? You know, how long does it take for something to work? How da, da, da? You know, and they get into all the specifics about this and that. And I think people are so obsessive about finding the exact right thing to do right away but it's impossible sometimes to find that exact thing for you right away. You have to experiment, you have to find out, you have to, you have to start with simplicity and then refine. And that's really the thing you do with all things in life, right? You start with a general principle, such as train a muscle to failure, and then you start to refine that to get greater and greater results. So you become more impeccable towards your goal. You start to refine what you're finding works, and you start to experiment and, and get a greater level of discernment to how to reach your goal. Start with the general principles. Gain strength, use the range of motion that doesn't make you feel pain in the joints and, and cause uh, chronic inflammation the days afterwards. And uh, yeah, push yourself. Push yourself and hit failure. Really hit those muscles hard. I mean, make sure the muscles actually do hit fatigue. And that's a good place to start, but yes, as you do this, then you'll find that there are ways to refine it, to re refine the range of motion, refine the type of volume you do, refine what ripe ranges you use, define the frequency you train, and then of course the angles, the angles of attack. Sometimes using one angle as opposed to another will produce a better result. So this is the thing. So don't be afraid to experiment and to grow in your awareness and embrace this whole phenomenon that happens. You're basically expanding this awareness and from experiencing constantly, you are becoming more and more aware and more refined in what works for you. So I hope this helps you out in your training. Thanks a lot for tuning in. If you need to go home, just go to naturalglantbodybuilding.com and thanks a lot to the patient supporters and take care for now. Well, I figured out the, I figured out the whole mystery of who was having uh, the Jurassic Park van. So uh, I ran into them here. They're from France. What are the chances that I actually check out a car and then the people I meet on the beach here are the very Jurassic Park people. The, 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 but you guys don't look much like dinosaurs. There's, there's no <laughs> dinosaurs here, I mean, you know, you're looking much better than dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah, much prettier, I think. I think they're prettier than dinosaurs, so yeah. Good thing for me, otherwise I wouldn't have survived the experience. <laughs> but as you notice, they actually jumped in the water where most of the locals are too cowardly to do so, so uh, kudos to them. So.